sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I stay? And as those memories come back to me I remember high school days When we would get a bunch of friends And party the night Yeah, and we're back! 1979 Pontiac Trans Am Believed to be 403 Olds Motor Power steer, power brake She's quiet She's clean. Beautiful paint job on this one. I love the wheels. Aftermarket interior. It's customized. It looks cool. To match the blue on the car here. Little cap there. Not closing all the way. There it goes. Detail pictures, financing, shipping. Available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Let me know what you think about this car in the comments. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so here we go. Looking around the interior on this one. Place those bats. Do you think the horn works? It's pretty clean there. We'll show you the mileage. Looking around on our dash. Around the interior. Back seat. Got my bag full of goodies there. You want to see what's in it? Look below in the description. Headliner looks wonderful. Somebody has redone it. Let's go ahead and start her up. Cold start this morning was super easy, just like that. Uh, engine temperature staying pretty cool. Cold pressure's great. We've got gas. We're charging. Try a different set in here. Blower motor's out on this one and not working. I'm trying to get it to work, but nothing. Wipers? Yeah, they work. Switch feels good. Dual column, turn signal. And windows. slow on the way up. Yeah, working good. Flies down. Radio on this one, I couldn't ever get it to cut on. It's a JVC, somebody stuck off in there. The interior used to be blue. It's got a trunk button. Doesn't work. It's not supposed to be flopping around. Dash. Looks okay. Now, this is a cover over the original dash. The visors are decent. Horn, did you place your bats? We're going to be trying it out. Let's hit it. Does work. Okay. What about these power locks? No, it doesn't. All right, let's take off down the road and see what else we can find. All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll here. Reach back, grab my seat belt. Accidentally hit the horn. Now, there's no strap for this. So I guess I'm gonna have to go up under my arm because it's very uncomfortable with that under your neck the whole time. That's what I used to do as a kid. <laughs> Reverse. That throttle pedal feels great on this one. Here we go. She sounds good. Take it off down the road. to go left there. Super tight is what it is. Touching your brakes, they feel pretty good. Getting in the throttle now. That's a decent amount of power there, kicking up rocks. 
open visors. Push in visors back up. Brakes feel okay. Speedometer is working. The tack is stuck. Ready to rock and roll, guys. Now, the button on top of this one is missing. So we are missing a button there. Good to go. Woo, that sun is bright. Sounds good. She's got plenty of speed. I don't see why you couldn't jump up on the highway with this one and cruise anywhere. Steering wheel straight. Actually got it up. It's tight. I mean, it's turning instantly.
little squeak from the belt up there, so we need to tighten one of those. Bump of the road here, give her a listen. Not too bad, still pretty smooth. That's our testing spot for the suspension. Just smooth, guys. I do like this car. It's beautiful. It's got the right colors. The interior's already been done. Nice wheels and tires. It's smooth. It runs good. There is some little minor stuff. I did see some rust that you need to know about. Um, but overall, I like this car. I think it's pretty cool. Coming down through Brian's Motorsports. Y'all have been here many, many times. You can check him out, brianzmotorsports.com. He customizes anything. You bring him anything, he'll customize it. I get my wheels, tires, um, some of my audio stuff from him. And sometimes I'll have some custom things made through him. But he's always making something cool. They go to the SEMA shows. They do everything. Just check him out, brianzmotorsports.com. And join him on all his social media platforms. And tell him I said what's up. <laughs> Good looking Denali there. I've always liked them Denali trucks. Check it out. Little two tone Bel Air there. Looks pretty good. See any, any other goodies in the parking lot here? I need to call him one day and be like, hey, send out some of your best stuff. I'll ride through. I noticed this and starting to give me a little bit of issue here the turn signal it's working but the signal itself the handle there a little loose I won't be easy on it let's see if we can fix it oh I see somebody's already tried whoever previously owned the car they got some tape or something wrapped on the inside of it. So that needs to be addressed. It hasn't made an issue the whole video, but I've been using it. All right. I'm glad we sat around a little bit longer and figured that out too. Well, whenever I get to pull out of here, we'll head back to the lot and do picking out the flaws. I wonder if the choke works. Yep, does. Give it some gas. Choke's hooked up. Not that you need it, but I guess if it's cold enough. Here we go, guys. Look, I missed my opportunity to get out of here. Messing around with the choke. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you later. It is time to walk around this ride. We'll start in the front here. Alright, like I said in the last video, my allergies are going wild. You got trees blooming out here everywhere. It's warm. I'm in a t-shirt. I'm sneezy wheezy. And I sound different. I'm sorry, guys. But I'm here for you. I'm not sick. That's the best part. I just got some allergies. We'll go ahead and start in the front here. Got some cracks up here in the nose. Some chips. And I'll do my absolute best to find any kind of rust or issues and I'll zoom in on them and show you. Somebody got mad and they said that I was zooming past rust. Well, I, don't, I didn't mean to do that. 
don't know if you've noticed in these videos, I'm not trying to sell you a car. I'm trying to show you what's wrong with them. Alright, we got some cracks. You'll notice that when you call us at the lot too. We're not even trying to sell the cars. We just we just want you to know what's going on with them. Little spots there. And they sell themselves. That's what classics do. Sounds crazy, don't it? I love my job. <laughs> Coming down the side. Little scuff. Scuff up top. Little scuffs there chips that's another good advantage about the low hitting the low side of the market here with our pricing they don't sit around especially these trans ams are hot they go fast chips on the side what is that? it's like some white flat spot down there a little bit of rust here now here let me give it some extra time like i did in the other video see that Moving on down, chip there. Y'all got me on my hands and knees over here. Come on, guys. Get the chips. Spot in the door. Bubble here. A little rust bubble. I don't know why I'm looking at it extra long, but it's there. All right, chips. That come right off. Check that out. A little wax. A little orange peel. That little light there. Let's see what's going on with that. Needs a, needs a little nut on it so it can hold up to it. Yep. Imperfection. Chips right there. Chips on the door handle. A little chip there. Also here. And down in there. top of the fender here front windshield looks good Got some streaks on the window. I think that's on the inside. It's just fogged. A lot of times when people use armor all over the years, they uh, start to come off the seat to get up on the windshield. A little spot there. <laughs> Got a little blemish here on top. All right, let's get back at it here. Over the back windshield. Your trim's looking pretty good. Got some dimples. Some chips on the wing there. The back side. Got some bubbles popping up. Light little scratches there. Scratches over here. Chips on the back. Little ripples on the paint. 
little bubbles there. Check this out. No wing there, it's just misshaped. Chips. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Jams look pretty good, seals look decent. Got some more chips though. A little rust popping up. You can hear it. Let's, it's inside that seal. Up here too. Get down in the trunk. We got a lot of parts. That's cool. So that goes with it, and the truck looks really clean, nice and smooth. Well, our speaker's hanging. Needs a couple bolts on there. This one is too. I wonder if they just didn't have them, they just put half of them in there or something. Or one. <laughs> A little rust up here in the lid. This side has some signs of it, but it looks fine. Little bubbles. I can probably push those out in the sticker there. Chip. Here's some chips up here. Blemishes on the side, those should come out. All right, coming down this side. Little chip. Tires look great. I know, because we put them on. <laughs> little line there. Chip. Little cracks. The plastic there. chips on the edge of that door got some rust here at the bottom in the corner and right here chip there Touch up, Mark. A little hazy, some chips. Spot at the bottom there. A little scuff. Turn around, see if it help. Oh yeah, a little bit better. Spot up top there. Spot in the door. Chip up here. Chips on the edge.
chip there. Chrome there has got a ding in it. Well, I'll tell you what, we made it around the outside of this one. We'll go ahead and check out that interior. Open up that door panel. Panel looks great. Little spot there. Looks like a little bit of surface rust. spot that's been fixed on the edge there. Underneath, got some rust. The bottom of the door. I'm trying my best here, okay. Blacked out trim. I kind of like that. It's different. It's clean. Oh, wow. The backs of the seats. I haven't even noticed that yet. That looks good. Now I do believe that uh, piece in the back dash is for a car seat. there from something spare I like spare parts let's try again gauge there is just staying on the low side oil pressure is great in this one tack's not working at all and the clock it's making the tack move <laughs> gas gauge has been fluctuating we're still charging try this again just in case Got a little bit of fiberglass or something in it.
up under the hood. Coming on down with it. Give it a little bit of a shake because I don't want to bend the hood itself. Shaking it does help bring it down. You gotta be firm with it, shutting it. Something on the paint there, it should come off. Some little chips. Down on that hinge here, leave that flat. All right, guys, I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I try my best to pick out the flaws so you know what you're getting. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. And of course, uh, there was people asking, what does hold mean? Hold means you get up to two weeks, $1,000 down, non-refundable deposit. The only thing is you will have a credit with Maple Motors if you decide to back out. I don't suggest putting cars on hold unless you 100% want them. We tell you that. We show you the detailed pictures. We show you uh, the videos here. If you haven't seen these, we're going to recommend it before you send any. It helps a lot. I do appreciate you watching. Hit subscribe um, and share share the, this video anywhere. I do appreciate that. That helps me out a lot. Also hit that like button. Thanks for watching.